Got another electrical video here for you guys today. I'm going to be swapping out this uh, three-way switch here. Uh, still works. I don't like the look of these ugly looking snap switches. I prefer the uh, decor type switches. Um, been swapping them all out in my house. I figured I'd uh, film this one today. Uh, so here's the box. Uh, again, three-way. Three-way switch, some people might think is intimidating to, to change or to wire, it's really not. Uh, only main difference between a, a single uh, switch and a three-way is that the three-way uh, has an extra screw on it. Uh, and that is to accommodate the travelers between uh, both the switches for the, uh, the circuit to be complete. Alright, so um, really the only thing that you got to keep in mind with a three-way, like I said, you got three screws, you got two brass screws which would be this screw here and this screw up here and then you have a black screw, this one here. Yeah, yeah. essentially you really have four screws. You have the ground screw but the ground screw is never really considered um, uh, a conductor when you're talking about a circuit and meaning that when, even when you're talking about wire you, you hear 14-2 wire or 14-3 wire. Uh, wire really has another wire in it, the ground wire, but you don't count that. But uh, getting back to the, uh, the actual uh, uh, screws that you can be using for the power. Uh, you see this black screw here. That's the only one you really have to be concerned with. This is your hot screw on the circuit. All right. When you pull, we pull this switch out over here. We're going to probably see a black screw on this switch as well. All we really got to remember is that that wire connected to that black screw in here has to be connected to the black screw on this switch. Okay. The other two wires, which are the travelers between the two switches, they can go to either. Of these brass screws on this switch. It doesn't matter. The switch will still work. Uh, when you start screwing up these wires, what's really going to happen is you're going to get funky things happening on the circuit where one switch will only control the light, the other one won't work unless the uh, the first switch is uh, on or off. That's what happens when you screw the travelers and, and the hots up on the, on the new switch. All right. So uh, let's pull the uh, old switch off the wall and we'll take a look at what we got with the wiring. Okay, now, before we begin doing anything with this, one of the most important steps that you have to do is obviously turn the electric off to the, uh, the circuit. Uh, mine's off, as you can see the light's not going on or off anymore. If you want to go a step further, you can pull the switch apart after you shut the breaker off for this circuit. And you can uh, use a meter or one of those little cheap testers that you can get and uh, check and verify that the electric's off. Alright, so uh, first step, we obviously got to remove the cover plate here, two screws. Pop that off. Sometimes they'll stick on the wall a little bit. All you got to do is get in around it and pry it a little bit. Pop right off. And you got obviously the two screws holding the um, switch in place. So you got to take both those out. Okay, and uh, pull the switch out of the wall a little bit. You should have some slack on the wire. Okay, now that we have the switch out of the uh, junction box, we can take a look and see what we have here. Uh, we obviously have our ground screw up here. That's the bare copper wire. We're going to connect that to the same place on the new switch. We have a brass screw here on this side. On the other side of this switch, we have another brass screw on the bottom here, and we have a black screw on up here on top. Uh, the black screw again is our hot or our common screw. We got to make sure that this wire here gets connected to the black screw on our new switch. That is really the only wire we have to be concerned about connecting to the proper screw. Okay, aside from the ground, obviously. The other two wires connected to the two brass screws. This one here, and again this one on the other side. Those two can be connected to the two brass screws on the new switch either way. It doesn't matter which one they go to. Alright, so uh, what I usually do is I will take this uh, wire off this screw on the old switch and I'll immediately connect this to the new switch. That way there's no confusion when you're swapping the switches out. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Well, it's really a matter of doing loosening the screw up. Go ahead and uh, pop this wire off here. We'll get our new switch and we'll attach that wire to it. Got our new switch here. There's our black. 
Here is our black on this one. Here's the wire we took off. Just a matter of slipping it over this uh, screw. And we're going to go ahead and tighten this. Don't have to go crazy. Just uh, tight enough where the wire won't come off. You don't want to break the, uh, the new switch. Okay, we'll flip this over. We know right off the bat that our ground is going to, which is a green screw, okay, is going to be going to the green screw ground terminal on the new switch. So we can go ahead and pop this one off while we're at it. All right. And uh, just a side note, this is 14 gauge wire that I'm working with here, so it's it's fairly easy to manipulate and bend with your hands. Uh, if this was um, uh, 12 gauge wire, which you'll see sometimes for say a 20 amp circuit, a little more difficult to work with. Uh, what you might have to do is use a pair of needle nose pliers to uh, to bend the wire back into place. Um, but like I said, the 14 gauge wire you can usually uh, bend pretty easily. All right, so there's the green wire connected to the green screw, the ground screw. Now all it's a matter of doing, we've got to do our traveler wires, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take this screw out, pop this wire off here, and uh, you can really take uh, both both of these wires off the old switch while we're at it because, like I said, it doesn't matter um, which screws they go to on the the new switch. All right. Old switch is out now. Have our two wires left. Connect our first wire down here. Again, the brass screw. Go ahead and tighten that into place. Okay. Other side of our switch, we have our final uh, brass screw here. Let's see if I can twist this into place so you can see it. Right there, we're going to connect our final uh, traveler wire to that screw now. Alright. Uh, just another note about attaching the wires to the screws. I'll zoom in here a little bit more so you can see. Um, you always want to run your wire underneath your screws so that when you're tightening the screw down, so we're going to be spinning the, the screwdriver this way, clockwise, you want to run the wire in on the bottom side here and loop it around. That way when you are tightening the screw, it'll be pulling the wire in and wrapping it around the screw. Okay, if we were to run this into the top, as we're screwing this in, it's going to want to back out the wire, which you don't want happening, obviously. So we're going to run our wire in through the bottom this way. Again, it takes a little bit of manipulation with the cabling sometimes, but like I said, get it underneath the screw. It's looped on the bottom. You'll see what I'm saying in a second. When we're tightening this uh, wire, the, the screw now, you can see what starts happening. It starts pulling the wire into the actual screw tightening it up so it won't be feeding it out and, and loosening up the connection. All right, and that's really it. All that's left to do is we're going to take the uh, the switch. The switch uh, um, is marked with uh, an orientation here. It says top, so you're going to want that obviously facing up. Okay, switch comes with new screws. Don't need the old hardware. Just going to go ahead and put this in. Push the switch into the box. Make sure you're not pinching any wires back in there. Like I said, this is a uh, 14 gauge wire, so the wire pushes back in there very easily. It, it bends nice. Uh, as you're screwing the switch in, you might want to bend it a little bit just to straighten it out in the box. That way it sits nice inside the, uh, the uh, cover plate when you put it on. Got ourselves a uh, new trim plate here. That just goes right on over the switch, obviously. This is fairly simple. All right, tighten our two screws in. Here's a little tip for you. 
Electricians and professionals when they're installing outlets and receptacles always take your screws and orient them in a way where they're straight up and down or horizontal this way. Don't leave them all, you know, turned sideways like this or, uh, you know, like that. I don't know if you can see that on, on the camera, but uh, it gives you a much more professional installation look when you, you know, rotate your screws around. Uh, the same direction. Just don't go ahead and crank them down too much because then you're going to break the uh, the plate which is only plastic and then you add it about a half an hour onto your uh, your job because you're going to run out to the store and buy a new one. So uh, that's it. Let's go uh, turn the power back on. We'll see if this works. Okay guys, I got the electric back on. Let's see what we got here. And as you can see, uh, it works. Um, let's go down to the other switch here. I'm in a hallway right now. See if this one works down on the far end. You can see that on camera, but the light is in fact going on and off. So we had a successful completion of our job here. So that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, post them down below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, just one final tip. Uh, a guy once told me when I was learning to work with electric, don't fear it. Respect it, okay? Just take your time. Uh, it's not a race. Don't rush through it. Make sure your power is off before you start. Uh, and just be safe. It's uh, it's really not that complicated once you get the hang of it. If you don't know what you're doing, call an electrician. They could do it for you. It's not worth risking your life. Thanks for watching.